Until recently, we relied on first responders to go to the site of chemical disasters to decontaminate patients on site and to transport them to hospital emergency departments in controlled fashion. What we now know is that when a chemical disaster occurs, victims will appear at emergency department doors in uncontrolled fashion, often contaminated. If you remember the sarin incident in Tokyo in 1995, contaminated children and adults appeared at emergency department doors. During that chemical disaster, because staff were not prepared, more than 100 health care workers were sickened by taking care of these contaminated children and adults. It is therefore essential for hospitals, including children's hospitals, to create protocols for the safe decontamination of children.